Okay. Thank you for coming. Today I will talk about how to create chatbots in PHP and why create chatbots at all. So I think that after this badass presentation I don't have to take talk enough anything about myself. So if you want to have slides for this talk, it will be here on this uh, John ID. So it will, you can check it later. This this link will be also on the end of the presentation if you are interested. Okay, so what is the chatbot? And the definition from Wikipedia is that is, is that a conversational user interface used for interaction with application. But I think this definition is not the easy easiest to understand. So I try to show you that chatbot can be like this. So yeah, so just automatic customer service uh, based on words. So I think this is one of the trends now that we want to automate everything. And I think the chatbots will be also one of the trends now and <coughs> where we can use it. And there's a lot of application of chatbots. Uh, first of all, we as the developers, we can use it for some automatic of or interactive deployments so, or other stuff like DevOps. We can, we can we have some things on Slack for us to just make some operation server that we don't need to do it manually on and on. Also, for for example, for site support like uh, order uh, checkout that we we don't we want to know what's with our order or what uh, what the status or make a payment uh, some receipt or payment with the e-commerce uh, we have. Uh, I think that the most uh, popular one is that the uh, customer service support. So we want to, to have some questions on automatic questions on the chatbots or FAQs, and this is I think that most. Uh, now the most popular way of using chatbots in for businesses. Also, we have some brand brand marketing. Also, if you have blog, we can use a chatbot to promote our blog. And so, for example, for some sales services like uh, bus timetables, weather forecast, also for fun for fun. And one of the example of fun and weather forecast is the chatbot called Poncho. It's tell us uh, we. He asks us only where we are, and he tells us uh, a weather, and always with some humor. And I want to talk <coughs> you that why you should in be interested in chatbots, and I think that because there will be a huge a market for it, and uh, without, because of this research, we, we think that in seven years there will be quite a lot of money just for chatbot industry. So this is, I think, that worth to go. And <coughs> that's why chatbots are so successful. And uh, I think that this is this graph shows us that open rate of emails, as we know, is 20% or less. But on Messenger, we have 88%. And this is a huge uh, difference because now people don't f f assume that some, f some message on Messenger is uh, commercial. So this they don't treat us as a spam. So this is uh, our chance for a, is a new channel for marketing and also the click through rate it's way bigger. So that's why everyone is investing in chatbots on Messenger. And how chatbot works and we can just simply <coughs> uh, divide this for two into three actions. The first one is listening. Later we process this and in the end we respond. But in a little more advanced way, we have communicator, for example, Messenger, Slack, but also Skype, uh, WeChat. We have many communicators we can use. Then we receive some requests. So the user will write us something. Then we validate this request if we know how to handle it. If we know, then we analyze this. And then when we analyze this, then we just send response. And this is like circle all on and on. And also we have two type of chatbots. Uh, at, I think not too free, but there are two types <coughs> in general. That, for example, is conversational. So we have the uh, like fluent conversation, just words, and we have to understand what people want. And uh, this is like uh, for now, it's not the best uh, support for this. We don't have this technology for other languages than English 
for now, so this is not the best uh, approach uh, if we are not from English, England or States. And we have also the approach like wizard-like, so we have just questions and forms uh, like uh, we used to, to install some soft and then we have just question answer question answer and we have we can mix this approach also so we have uh, the, mm, try, try to understand what people want and then put them to the conversation and we have then complete uh, strict scenario what they can write and what we want from them so I will talk more about this mixed approach because it's for now mo the most uh, advanced one we can use to, for uh, not only English uh, languages and also why the chatbots are so uh, popular is because we can broadcast messages so if someone wrote <coughs> us uh, on our fan page a message then we can <coughs> broadcast uh, commercial or information later so this is like the completely new channel for marketing and this is this is when we have 88 percent of open rate that this is huge change and i will talk about uh, botman framework which is <coughs> written in php is done by marcel poshot uh, he's from Germany and he mainly do open source and he create, just created this framework uh, and this is I think the one of the most popular frameworks uh, in PHP for chatbots and yeah the installation is that we can just mm, use composer and just require botman botman if you want to use it in vanilla PHP but for uh, Laravel we can have just this free uh, commands and then we can have working chatbot already so this is quite easy installation the requirements are all also <coughs> even more easier because we have just need PHP 7.1 and what's nice about <coughs> Botman uh, framework is that we have many services working already so we can first of all we can messenger but we have also HipChat, WeChat, Slack, uh, Telegram and we can use all, <coughs> create all, always all, also our drivers so we can we are not limited to it if we want for example use also a amazon alexa sound speaker we can use it also so it's quite nice and now i will show you some examples of codes how to use it and it's quite easy this is the hello world example so we just uh, <coughs> create botman instance and then say if we hear uh, here a uh, hi then we reply hello world and then at the end we just say that we should listen to everything we said so it's it's that easy to have simple hello world example if you want some uh, more uh, advanced uh, calculations or uh, ana analysis then we can just uh, use it for controllers so when we say here, here hi then we can go to some um, class to some method in Laravel it's mostly com controllers and then we just have OK then we just reply hello world again uh, of course this is not all so we have also for example parameters so if I said I am in I wrote I am in Prague then we can uh, check it and then we can reply you are in Prague so this is also then we can start to understand what people want from us of course we have also the regular expressions uh, so for example if we say hi hey or hello we also respond to hello world but also some other num for example, numbers so if i said i want to buy five tickets then we can reply and understand that the user said that he wants some number of course uh, mostly on messenger we can uh, also receive an images and also videos and the location and i think something more and this is also that we just receive image and we get the url to this image title payload so we can do everything what, what we want for example make some filter or anything with this picture so uh, we can we have full support of attachments and as i said for example with replies we just say bot reply and also for example this is most more the ux things but there we have types and weights because if we just want <coughs> say bot reply bot reply bot reply then that will be too fast and for human they will be 
a little strange that we can answer so quickly so we can postpone our answer and just show that we thinking and uh, so this is also quite nice feature of messenger we can also uh, respond with an image so we just create a uh, outgoing message with attachment and this is just image and this will show to user the image also then the i think the most more uh, most important thing that we have is the questions so we, gen we can ask some question and then we get the response but this is the example when we have the uh, text response we can also have some pred predefined options that we have uh, buttons and i think that you know from messenger there are, there are, can be buttons in the mm, the form so also we have questions what pro programming language do you like and we created uh, the buttons for PHP, uh, for example, assembler, and then we can get the value and also some hidden value for us that we can use it uh, not to, not to base on the text representation. Also, we can have, <coughs> and this is the another huge thing that we have conversations because if we will have just uh, respond to text we have, then we cannot know. Uh, what context we are. So we have to con create this context. And for example, when we hear that someone wants to create an account, then we can start conversation and we call it new account register conversation. And I think that I can show it more. Okay, so we just have created a conversation. Uh, the first method is we run the ask name. So we just uh, ask for the name, we get the name and we save this our variable and then go to the ask email and also we get asked uh, ask for email we get email and we in the meantime we can send email and say thank you and that's all so this is also quite easy and we have uh, nicely done it in other separate class also we can have questions with patterns so not <coughs> with the buttons but someone if someone wrote it uh, in many different uh, answer then we can uh, re uh, react to it so for example uh, to this question we can have praga and praha and prague and also the shortcut for the airport and we under we understand this so this is like the shortcut for uh, more advanced uh, questions with patterns the next thing is that we can get user information and uh, for Messenger, I will say later what we can get, but we can get just the information from from you about user and not ask for a name or email, just show it or just use it. And the same, we have also cache, uh, so we can store uh, some information about user or about driver, for example, for statistics. So these are the examples of simple CRUD that we can save information, retrieve, or delete. Uh, so this is also quite quite easy and this is for each user individually and the next thing the um, the one of the i think that will be more advanced in future is the nlp or nlu so natural language processing or understanding there will be today talk about this so uh, i encourage you to go there and we have uh, now three uh, major services for nlp it's a dia dialogue flow with AI and Reza NLU, and they allow us to try to understand what uh, user want from us, what, what is the intent of them. And uh, as I said, this is, is very work. It can work good for uh, English language, but for other languages, it's not so great so far. And the example is that if we wrote that, hey, I am going to PHPC conference in Prague on Saturday at 10 with Grzegorz, then we can understand this is the, in the intent of the user is create a meeting and we can get entities like the name of the event uh, or the place uh, and who, is, who should be invited also and the time when it is created, uh, when this uh, meeting should be created, for example. So this is, for example, the example for a calendar. And uh, to use it on the code is also simple. The earlier the dialog flow was called API AI, so we this is the, still the, the same name used, and we just have just simple uh, 
uh, code example to just understand that we can get more information that what is what is the action, what is the intent, and what should be the reply. So this is just using the machine learning to train the, this model to understand what uh, was the intent. But unfortunately, for now, it's only working properly for English. Also, we have uh, middlewares. So <coughs> when we just get the information, we can uh, have some events like that we received this information or we captured so we understand that we are in the conversation or if we are, if we are not in the conversation that if we uh, can understand this message and if we understand then also we can that we heard this message and also that we just send the response so we can go into this uh, event and do some validation, some logging, some other stuff so this is quite nice, that is quite uh, complex and we can use it. The next thing is also that we can test it. So this is just a simple unit test that, for example, we have just that we receive high and that we check if we reply with hello world. The same we can just test if we get uh, an image or we also can test the conversation so that we can have some more advanced scenario. Uh, what's nice also with our bo with Botman is that we have a web driver, so we can test it or put it on the our website. Uh, and we, this is the example from the documentation, but this is also working. So we just have the simple code and the form that is reacting like the uh, real chatbot. And what is more <coughs> also uh, nicer that we have a widget, so we can put it on our website like a live chat widget. And then we have the uh, possibility to have uh, chat bot on our website on, and for example, on every page have different uh, chat bot that helps us somehow. So this is also nice and we, we don't need to do it uh, uh, from scratch. We, there's already package to use it from JavaScript. And now I will, would what, want to talk to you about uh, the messenger, what we can use it, what there are templates of with uh, in messenger, and how we can use it and how to integrate with. So uh, there will be just qu quite simple examples. So for example, uh, this is the button template. So we have question and some buttons. And this is the code for this. So we just say that we want to have a button template, create two buttons and one is the post back button. So we just uh, have uh, that uh, <coughs> we can understand that it was cl uh, clicked and then we know that if there is a payload with this information, pay me more, then we will use it. Or for example, button with the URL so we can, we, when someone clicks, clicks, then in, we go to this website. Uh, another example is generic template. So there's a little more advanced and there's like a list with uh, image and some te text and also with uh, buttons. This is a little more advanced, but it's also quite sim the same idea. So we have create generic template object. We define the aspect, aspect ratio and then add ju the, just the next elements. And this is also quite easy and repeatable uh, task. Next thing is the list template. So we have also some list uh, with also images and uh, this is also quite easy example. There you we have we can have more example. Uh, we can have more functionality with this uh, template. And for example, so we use a compact view because we can also use a full and high that will be with images. And this is like this. Also, there is the media template. So we have also just image and buttons. And the code is also quite similar to everything what I showed before. And also with these buttons, as I said, that we have qu quick replies, then we can just uh, help the user not to write, but just to click on the mm, uh, predefined options. So for this example, yes and no, we can have just these uh, lines of code. So we just create a question and create two buttons, yes and no. And also, what's nice that we can not uh, uh, we can use quick replies also for other uh, purposes. For example, the email or location, and also for a phone number. And this is immediately from the Facebook Messenger, so the user didn't need to uh, write uh, their email. Uh, just we can just get this from the Facebook, and this is the uh, code that we need to do it 
uh, to get this information. Also in the messenger we have a static menu that we can have, uh, <coughs> this is like the configuration thing that we, gen we can just say what options can be uh, available and uh, then we can get the some shortcuts for the uh, users and um, for more information the, I, there is a link on the documentation for the on the messenger platform because there is is just mostly the messenger thing and uh, what information we can get from the user for example f first of all we have Facebook in identifier so we can recognize what user we talk then uh, first name the last name the avatar gender interface language time zone and we can have more information uh, but we need to apply for this and the Facebook need to verify that we really need this information. So this is the information we get from scratch. And if we want to know anything more, then we need to uh, apply for this. And also there is a nice application. Uh, it's called Messenger Demo Viewer. So if you want to show the chatbot or test chatbot uh, then we can just uh, launch this application and then it's connect with the our messenger account and then we can use it and we will not be uh, distracted from some other people who will talk to us so this is quite nice uh, tool for testing the chatbot not to uh, be in the on the messenger website and this is the process that uh, we need to do to connect the bot with the messenger. And this is quite uh, simple because it can it should take you uh, 15 minutes to do it. So first of all, we need a Facebook page, and later we also need a Facebook app. So this is also quite quite easy. Then when we have this our app, then we need to say that we want a messenger uh, uh, like sub application or some uh, just use that we want to use the messenger then we select our uh, facebook page and then <coughs> uh, we have to copy uh, this token we get uh, to our configuration and then in the messenger or with this configuration messenger we have also provide our url to our uh, website so for example chatbot.com slash botman and then just uh, provide this verification token then we can get we have from Facebook to our uh, config in the, our configuration for Facebook or our chatbot, and then in the end we just activate our bot on the page. There is uh, when you have you have the administrator privileges on the Facebook page, then you can just uh, in the settings you have that if you want to have full uh, power of communicating or just also use the um, some automatic. Uh, solutions like chatbot and then we will we'll have working solution and this is also uh, nice about um, botman because we have playground that we can use it and i hope that i will be able to show it yeah <coughs> so uh, we can have an account here when we have access to the video course and then we have uh, five uh, tabs. The first one is just the readme that we can say some documentation about this uh, snippet of code. Then we have this Botman PHP file that we have. Uh, I can show it more. Okay, uh, so we can have just the code. The code is not interesting, but I think that. Uh, ah, okay, so it's not working. Okay, so now will be some more difficult for me, but okay. <coughs> so we have here a Botman PHP a file. So this is a route file that we can have some uh, code that we want to test. I will. This will be my mo most uh, mostly used uh, tab. Also, if we want some test the conversation, we can uh, use the, this file. Also, .nv file if we want some configuration, and also we can have some. HTTP request capture that we want want to check what happened, and for example, this is the code, uh, like for the to get some gifs, and for example, I will try to see if it's so. This is that if I say that I want to give from cat, wait for it, it will be speed up. 
I think soon. Yeah, so he speed up. So this is also we can just say it. Also, it can work for other words or no. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's why we can also have a fallback uh, method. I, there is no written here, but if we don't understand, then we can uh, say that, okay, I don't, didn't understand and I showed the some options. And this is about doc. And what's funny, I try, I try to find a GIF for Prague, and this is what I get from the GIF of Prague, so I don't know why. And yeah, so this is, <coughs> and what's nice that this uh, this solution works uh, in a re real time. So if I send this, I hope this will work. Yeah, and it works. So we can just uh, take uh, route what we want and check if everything is okay. So yeah, so this is very nice that we can <coughs> in real time that in check because if you, when we are working with Facebook Messenger, then we have to deploy on the server. We can have the continuous deployment, but still it take us some few seconds. And here we have is immediately. So this is quite nice feature and yeah I'm going back to my slides and yeah <coughs> so this is also the example and we when we get we also always get the li link to our uh, snippet and then we can show it to others and they can copy paste and fork them and get their own uh, they own playground and test it. And <coughs> from where we can get the knowledge uh, about uh, chatbots in PHP, and there is quite a lot of this. So for, so for, for example, mostly we have documentation with demos. Uh, also we have GitHub, we have Slack for uh, botman programmers. We have also video course. We have this ID I showed. We have two eBooks, and also there is some speeches of Marcel and we can get also no information from this. And I think that's everything that I wanted to say today uh, about chatbots. So if you have any questions, there is this sketch box. <coughs> yeah, Gregor's my question. <laughs> have a question. So uh, the, all the examples that you've shown, there is, let's say, uh, the exact uh, question or statement from the user that you expect. Yeah. And you've also shown us the existing NLP solutions for English language. And actually, the, is the one example that you've shown was extremely complex. The question is whether is there there is already support for the simple stuff, like you can say hello in those yeah, of ways yeah. and you can phrase a sentence submitting some less important word for example yeah uh, in this dialog flow i think that this month uh, the polish uh, for example polish language was uh, uh, goes from the beta version to full version and but still you need to train this so this is not that we can get uh, understand easily 100 sentences but we have to train this so, but uh, it's co going better and better with understanding the grammar and so on, but still it, you have to train my, by yourself. It's not that you can get the basic and get the can answer to 1000 questions. This is not possible for now. Yeah, but for example, the simple cases, the, the let's say usual stuff, like you want all the ways you can say hello, that's let's say very similar use case to be easily implemented. 
you don't have to you don't want to care about all those cases are there ready let's say libraries to support such yeah stuff? i think that there will be such libraries i c couldn't find any for for now at least in php i think that there is in the node or in python there will there are some such uh, packages in php this is the most advanced solution so it's not the robust like uh, in the other languages but still you can use it for a simple uh uses okay thanks thanks some other questions no <coughs> okay as I talk, there is as I thought there is a link to my presentation. So if you want to download the slides, there are slides already. And yeah, so that's all for me. Thank you.